All right, my little chickadees. So for this project, you are going to be using a thick Sharpie and a thin Sharpie. So this is the fine tip and this is the ultra fine tip, the really, really skinny one. Um, for the board, I'm obviously using an Expo marker, but I wanted to go over some pen and ink techniques with you guys because for your project, this is an example of the name creature, you are going to be using a variety of pen and ink techniques to create your patterns and to create your textures. So um, what I've done is I have listed three different techniques and you should copy these down in your sketchbook. I've also drawn one, two, three circles and I've drawn some lines that kind of skip through them that look like they're going through the circle almost. Those are gonna become our background lines that we're gonna add some shading to. So the first technique that I'm gonna show you is called stippling. And stippling just involves creating a variety, a bunch of dots. It's a very annoying sound. When I used to have a class full of students doing this, it was like the loudest noise ever. The further apart you put those dots, the lighter your value. And we're gonna talk about value in a second. You can also add some stippling below the sphere to create some shading. So now you've created a light source that's coming from the left and it's creating a shadow. The next technique is hatching and hatching just means lines that are parallel to one another, which means they are side by side, they don't meet, parallel to one another. I'll show you another technique too. The lines can curve a little bit. That gives it a little bit of contour, C-O-N-T-O-U-R. Contour basically just meaning it's following the edge or the shape of the, uh, the form. So hatching is, like I said, just parallel lines, and no matter what direction you put them in, you can add shading to your shape. Cross hatching, it's exactly what it sounds like. I start with my hatching lines, and you'll notice I don't make them all the same length and then you can crisscross them, okay? Again, you can do the same thing with your curved lines, your contour lines, and then I can curve these as well, and that creates a cross contour. So I'll write that down. This one is cross contour. All right. So what I've done is I've basically shown you three, one, two, three, technically four, five, ways that you can create value in your artwork. Value has to do with shading or the lightness or darkness of a color. So the deeper your stippling marks, the darker the value. The closer together your hatching lines, the darker the value. The further apart things are, so the further apart my stipple marks are, the lighter the value. What you're gonna be doing for your homework assignment is you are going to draw 10 shapes, okay? This is my example, and I'll have a picture of it posted on Schoology. You're going to draw 10 shapes, and in those 10 shapes, you're gonna draw a variety of textures. So you can draw just one texture in some of them, you can draw a couple in, a, in some of the other ones, I do want you to make sure that you're drawing at least, I did two, one here and one here, where you are going from dark to light with your values, where you're drawing, we're starting with a darker texture or technique and lightening it up. Darker technique, lightening it up, okay? So you are going to create 10 shapes, you're gonna take a photo of this and you're gonna upload it to Schoology. Enjoy!